Hi everybody, this is Corey at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. This is a, a little segment we like to call Little Guy with a Big Guitar. And this big guitar that I have with me today is made by Reverend Guitars. This is their Dub King. It's in a uh, beautiful black gloss uh, finish. It is a semi-hollow bodied short scale, so it's a 30 inch scaled instrument. Uh, anybody that knows me or if you follow our videos knows that I absolutely love short scale basses. Uh, they seem to be a, a bit more playable for me. Uh, they're definitely a lot more comfortable wearing uh, for long periods of time uh, and have just a different enough sound to make it something that I feel like as uh, if you're a professional bass player, you should have a short scale in your arsenal. And this one is a humdinger of a guitar. Uh, like I said, it is a semi-hollow body, features uh, white limba, uh, also known as Carina body. Uh, it has their same five-piece neck. Um, it is a set neck guitar. And you can't see the five pieces, but uh, I am assured and uh, know that it is definitely five piece uh, neck, maple and walnut, has a nice pow ferro uh, fingerboard, beautiful inlays, block inlays, uh, black side dots, double bound neck, single binding on uh, the body. Uh, like I said, it is a 30 inch scale, features their high mass bridge. I love this bridge. Uh, I think the, the high mass, and it also locks down, so there's positive contact with the body. That's something that they do that's proprietary uh, to Reverend Bases. Uh, this bridge can be strung either through the body or top load, so you can adjust the feel uh, of the strings a bit using one or the other. Some guys say there's more sustain with uh, through body but more tension. Some people say that there is a slinkier feel in top load. Um, let you be the, the judge of that. You know, I, I have my personal opinions on it, uh, which are basically, I, I, dig, uh, I dig string through body. I do feel a difference. Uh, when the guitar is resting against me and you hit, a, you hit a big note, you can feel a little bit more vibration. Could be, could be just me and psychosomatic. Who knows? You need to try it for yourself. Uh, also, this features uh, hip shot ultralight tuners. Very nice design, very clean. Uh, they work great, used on lots of guitars. Uh, the control layout is very simple. It is a volume, a tone control, which is a treble roll-off, along with a pickup blend knob. It is center detented, so you can tell when you've, when you've got an equal balance of the two pickups. Uh, the two pickups they use in here are the thick brick and the split brick pickup. These are also made by Reverend uh, and proprietary to, to their instruments. Um, both of them are very high output uh, pickups. They border on uh, almost being high gain pickups. Uh, most bass, pl uh, bass heads have a switch or a separate input for high or low gain. You can, uh, we've got it in the low gain setting right now, so it drives the amplifier a little bit more, drives the EQ, drives the gain structure. Uh, you can get a little bit woolier sound out of it. These pickups are incredibly responsive. Uh, I've got them in the, the center spot. I'm going to play a little bit with the treble all the way up. That to me is a really great workable sound. Uh, it's going to sit well in a mix. It's not too bass heavy, so you won't be competing with the bass drum. Uh, it's not too trebly, so you won't be competing with the guitar players. Uh, really usable sound. Now I'm going to roll up to the split brick pickup. Uh, this is your typical split uh, pickup scenario, except flipped all the way around. Typically the pole pieces for your bass strings, for your E and A strings, would be at the front and the uh, D and G 
would be at the back. They flip that around to, uh, I suppose, to try to make it sound a little less flabby or uh, mushy in the low end, kind of tighten that low end up a little bit, uh, but make the, the treble side, your D and G strings, uh, a little bit warmer and sing a little bit more. So uh, let me roll up to it and we'll play a little bit. So as you can tell, uh, it has a, a bit more of a single coil sound, single coil like sound, reminiscent of the original uh, bass guitar, production model bass guitar. Uh, again, really usable sound. Now I'm gonna go back to the uh, Thick Brick, which is a eight pole piece uh, humbucker and have a listen. really nice. It's got that nice burpy tone uh, that we like out of a, a bridge pickup. I'll A B that with the, the with the split brick. Absolutely fantastic bass guitar. You should definitely check it out. You can check it out here at More Music in Evansville, Indiana, or check it out online at moreguitars.com. We're always here to text or talk. Just give us a ring. Thanks. Everybody have a great day.